everybody. How's everybody liking the conference so far? All right, good times. That's, that's a good Yelp for the morning for a bunch of programmers. All right. All right, let's get started. Welcome to Austin. Uh, we have a code of conduct. Follow it. If you are interested in what it says, uh, have any questions, you can read it on the website or it's printed out there. Uh, if you break it, we're going to throw you out. Um, <laughs> um, so we've done a lot to the Node project in the last, say, year and a half. Um, come a really, really long way, and our adoption is still looking really, really good. Um, and when we kind of take our head back from things and, and give more of kind of a thousand foot view of things, um, we keep coming back to this idea of the new full stack, where we have all of these new programming environments the developers have to contend with. And in fact, they have to connect them together. And it's just getting more and more complex the farther that we get along down the road in technology. And what we've been able to do in Node.js, which is really phenomenal, is that we've actually created the only legitimate player in terms of platform and ecosystem across IoT and cloud and API services and serverless and desktop and mobile <laughs> and, and the web. Like that's really, really tremendous. Um, and this has led to Node being the fastest growing open source platform in the world. Uh, more people learn Node.js and become Node.js developers uh, than any other platform, programming platform in the world right now. That's had a tremendous effect on our ecosystem. Um, I mean, as you know, we, we have the largest ecosystem. We've had the largest ecosystem for quite a while. We've had the fastest growing ecosystem for quite a while. Um, we now, in just absolute terms, have an ecosystem twice the size of Java in terms of open source modules. Um, this is huge for Node developers because it means that when you want to go and build an application, build a product, bring it to market, you have you get to build much less code. You get to write far less code. It, you're rarely going to run into an algorithm or an implementation or any of the really hard, low-level bits that we don't already have in the ecosystem. In fact, we have three. And the thing that you'll probably complain about on Twitter is that you have to pick. Uh, and you know that's fine. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> We still have more than 400 new packages published every day. That's not updates to packages. That, that number is astronomical. 400 new modules from developers around the world being published every single day. Um, this is more than double as well, the, the, the next highest module ecosystem. And at the end of the day, our ecosystem, our developer, um, our developer base, everything that we have metrics on, we see consistent 100% year-on-year growth, um, which is tremendous. I mean, that we've maintained that for the last four or five years now, that we've continued to double every year. Um, this is honestly kind of scary once you look out three years, like, where are we going to go from here? <laughs> um, we, right now, we have about uh, five and a half million users. Uh, we've, we now have 15 million downloads a month. And this number is way up from where it was, partially because we do new releases uh, a lot more. Um, but also, we've gotten a lot better at getting all of the developers and all of the enterprises in our ecosystem taking new versions of Node, both LTS and uh, some of our odd releases that we're using, experimenting with some of the newer stuff. We just have broader adoption of our releases in general. And a lot of that is because we've, we've gotten much better at releasing, at not breaking things, at ensuring stability. People are a lot more confident in the releases that we're doing. So that's great. Um, in order to continue this growth, though, there's still a few places that we need to go. There's a few places where, in order to bring Node there, we need to run on a different VM. Uh, there, are <laughs> there are definitely cases where, in the future, we really want to have a stable native layer so that your native modules don't break every major release of Node because we take a new version of the VM. Or if you want to swap out your VM for a different one because your workload looks a little bit differently and it's optimized more for another VM, we don't want to break all your native modules either. Um, so we're actually, we put out an announcement today. A lot of great developers from a lot of companies, including Microsoft and Google and IBM, and a huge amount of community effort is going into creating this stable native layer and the eventual goal being that Node.js will become a VM-neutral platform. 
We'll, we'll still ship by default with V8, no plans to change that. The ease of use that you're used to and just grabbing it and going will still be there. Um, but people will have the option to, to run differently. And you're going to start to see Node get shipped on a lot more devices and a lot more things as well because it's so much easier to bind other VMs to it. So this is great. We have a lot of press going out about this today. Uh, also, Aronesh from Microsoft is giving a great talk on it. Uh, one of the first VM neutral demos. So definitely check that out uh, if you're interested. Another problem that we're starting to run into and that computing in general is running into, honestly, is security. So security is a, it's a huge problem. It's a problem on devices now, as we've seen recently, uh, with you know, half the internet going down. Um, <laughs> we, this is a huge concern. Um, from the moment that we started the foundation and we started to take security more seriously, we worked with the Linux Foundation and the Core Infrastructure Initiative to come up with a really great process uh, for confidential disclosure and for vetting security vulnerabilities in Node Core. We were one of the first projects to get a badge. We're informing a next version of the, of the security badges coming up <coughs> from CII. So that's all great. But Node Core is only part of your application. In order to really ensure security, we need to start worrying about the ecosystem. Um, and the project and the, and the foundation need to take a, a greater role in that. <coughs> 